EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. We're in Los Angeles, California for what should be an exciting football game. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the UCLA Bruins and the USC Trojans. And here come the Trojans. This is the annual showdown between crosstown rivals for the sweet sounds of the victory bell. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. And with me for this exciting matchup, Kirk Curbstreet and Lee Corso. The Bruins appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blowout. USC is going to dominate this football game, and they're going to do it with the running back. I mean, this guy is unstoppable. I expect a huge game for him in this game, Lee. I'm talking about 200 yards and three touchdowns at least. You're 100% correct. USC is going to come in here and pound the ball right at this defense. And when they're done with that, Kirk, they're going to pound them and pound them and pound them even more. UCLA has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Kicks it off. Number five fields it at the one. He's hit and got away. They'll set up shot at the 22-yard line. UCLA lines up in a dime defense here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. The draw play gets maybe two yards. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. They go with a pitch to the right. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 20. The Bruins bring in their dive package. He drops back. He's looking down the middle. It falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. They send out the punting unit. It's away and it's a booming punt. Number 87, fields at the 30. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They'll start this drive at the 36-yard line. They go with a run. And they hit him in the backfield. And the defense is ready for that play. Boy, you better believe it. That play didn't have a chance. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Here's the give. And he's taken down. 
He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. Brings in the nickel here. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Drops back to pass. Throws a lot of pass out to the right. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 39 gets it off. Number five takes it to 28. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 33. First and 10. They go with a toss. Tries to juke. And he's tackled. A one-yard gain on the play. One-yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. USC comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Brought down, and he's going to come up short of the first down. They come out in a punt formation. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number 87 signals for a fair catch. And they'll down it at the 14-yard line. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was threw it out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. USC lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. Looking. Road. Complete. He's hit the way. They'll bring him down. Seven yard play. On the reception. Seven yard gain on the play. The second down and three to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. Number 21. The lone back. He's going left. Got it to his receiver. And he's tackled, and they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and 10, ball on the 34. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle, nothing going on that one. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Number 21, alone in the backfield. He drops back. He's under pressure. Couldn't haul it in. A perfect pass, but he didn't catch it. He's got to look at his hands and try to find a hole where that one dropped out of. Third and ten. Ball on their own 34. UCLA sets up in the eye, drops back to pass, and they make the stop. He's going to pick up less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. And that's the end of the quarter. We're scoreless after one.
The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 39 gets it off. Number five fields it at the 27. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 37. The Bruins bring in the nickel package. They'll throw on first down. He lets it go, and it's caught. Spin move. They'll bring him down. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and 10, ball on the 44. Ace backfield. On the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. Single set backfield. Trick play might not work. They'll drop him for a loss. Third down, 15. Ball right around midfield. Number five lines up as a single back. Throws to the middle. Got it. And he's tackled. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They'll bring in their dime package. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Tackle. A seven-yard run by the running back. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Trojans come out in a bunch formation. Across the middle. Complete. They'll bring him down. How do you like that pass, Lee? I don't know about the pass, but the result, a first down, ha, that's what I like. It's first and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number 11 with three wide receivers. Looks. Steps up. Over the middle. It's tipped. And that one was oh so close. Close calls right. If you just put a little bit more touch on the ball, that would have been a big play. Let's give credit to the linebacker. That was an athletic play there by the defense. So it's second and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. USC comes out with an eye formation. A little misdirection. And they make the stop. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Looks like they'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. Back to pass. Throw short. Batted ball. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Drop back to pass. He's looking down the middle. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Freddie's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. Yeah. 
and he tacks on the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, USC 7, UCLA nothing. USC to kick, number 87, and number 21 set to return, kicks it off. Number 87 fields it at the three, he spins around. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this offense. the last time they had the ball. They'll go to work at the 20. They'll throw on first down. Gives a little pump fake. Here they come. Short talk. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. He drops back, wants to throw outside, and it's incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third down and 10 coming up, ball on their own 20. The Bruins go with the eye formation. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Across the middle, and they couldn't hook up on that one. So the coverage continues to look impressive on this drive. That'll bring up fourth down. You're right, Brad. The coverage has looked impressive, but this quarterback certainly has not. He just can't seem to find his rhythm out there. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 39 gets it off. Number five takes it to 47. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. It's first and 10. Ball right around midfield. Number five is the single setback. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. USC takes a timeout. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 44. Number five, the lone back. Back to pass. He's looking. Rolling out to the left side. Has all day to throw. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Number five lines up as a single back. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 14 boots it way up there. Number 24 calls for the fair catch. They'll down the punt at the nine. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 20 yard line. UCLA comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. 
get it out there on the top. And they got him for a loss. UCLA calls a timeout. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 16. One man back for you. They'll give it off here. He just uh, brought down. USC takes a timeout. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on their own 21. The Trojans line up in a nickelback. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. His receiver has it. And that tackle's going to save them six. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. They'll throw on first down, and that one's fallen incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. High formation here. He drops back. Lobs this one over the middle. Another kick. And he's tackled. UCLA calls a timeout. First and 10. And this is the sixth play of the drive. UCLA comes out with two tight ends. Back to pass. Looking. Steps up in the pocket, and it's caught, and down he goes. So they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. UCLA goes with the ace set here. Throws this one out to the left. In and out of his hand. Nice pass, just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you've got to catch the easy ones. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. And it falls incomplete. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. The Bruins are lining up to punt it away. Number 39 punts it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 20 signals for a fair catch and they make the fair catch at the 11 yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 11. USC lines up in a double tight set. They go with a toss. Defense running him down. And he's going to throw to the quarterback. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. Try to power it with a fullback. A little shake and bake move. And they make the stop. A four yard pickup by the fullback. Gain of four on the play. Third and six. Ball on the 15 yard line. They come out in a goal line set. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, USC 7, UCLA nothing.
We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 87 takes it from the six. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. It's first and ten. Ball on 24. They go with a pitch to the right. Spins up field. Tackle. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 26. USC lines up in a dive defense here. Got some open field. They'll bring him down. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First and 10. Ball on the 35. He drops back. Looks. Here comes the pressure. He steps up. It's on the ground. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. And so the defense gets the turnover. Yep, the quarterback should have done a better job of holding on to the football. Now it cost him a turnover. Excellent field position to start the drive. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to pass. He's looking under heavy pressure. Wants to throw outside. It's deflected. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, Scooter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. First and long. Ball on the 32-yard line. UCLA brings in the nickel here. On the ground with a tailback. Brought down in the open field. A good 10 yards on the pickup. So it's second and ten. Ball of the 22. Number five, the lone back, steps up, looking down the middle. Got it to his receiver. And he's tackled. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Touchdown, USC! My goodness, guys, that was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Looks 
like they're ready for the kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Number 87 has it at the five. We might see two hands on the ball after their last drive. I mean, if you start thinking too much about fumbling, you become less effective as a runner. You just need to go out there and play their game. They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. Ace backfield. The handoff on the counter. Tackle. A one-yard gain by the halfback. One-yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 24. USC brings in their nickel package. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third and nine. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Bruins go with the eye formation. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. He's got it. And he's taken down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. They come out in a punt formation. Number 39 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. And they'll down it at the 26-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. It's first and 10, ball on the 26. Number five, alone in the backfield. On the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop, a yard, maybe two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Second it's second down and eight. Ball, ball on the 28. The Trojans come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Throws it to the outside. And down he goes. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looks like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. Fullback, hand off, and he's tackled. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here, ball on the 38. On the ground, left side. They'll bring him down. The back gets three on the carry. Third and six. Ball on the 41. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. Setting up the play action. Throws it to the outside. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Number 87 fields it at the middle level. There's a missed tackle. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 20. They line up in an eye. 
They'll throw on first down. He's going right. Incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. High formation here. On the ground with the tailback. A little juke. And he's taken down. And what a run. And here's a stat for you. This kid ran a 4-3, non-win aided 40. Now that's fast. Non-win aided? What are you talking about? I don't care if he had to win or not. This kid can fly. First and 10, ball on the 35. Number 21 lines up in the deep back, eye formation. They'll make the sack. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. coming up here. Ball in the 29. So this crowd is making their presence felt. Drops back to pass. He's looking. And they got it. How many times can one guy get to the quarterback? Well, two more, and he's going to own the single game school sack record in what is turning out to be a big day for this guy. Now, this guy's a supreme athlete. He's got speed to get around the blockers or the strength to power through it. He is a total pack. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on their own 25. USC comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Down the middle. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So they're set to pump this one away. He punts it. Number five takes it at the 33. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll go to work at the 34. Inside give. And they make the stop. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. First and 10, ball on the 46. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Up the middle. Miss tackle. They'll bring him down. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? A thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. They line up in an eye. On the ground with the tailback. Makes a move. And he's tackled. They get about five yards from the handback. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Number five lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Big dog, big dog. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. On the ground, up the middle. And he puts it on the turf. Brought down. The offense lucky to retain possession after that fumble. And the old coach can't be happy with the way the running back is haphazardly carrying the football right now.
First and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. USC comes out with an eye formation. They'll go with a fullback. Broke away from one. Tackle. UCLA takes a timeout. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. He'll get the call again. They'll bring him down. UCLA calls a timeout. This is the seventh play of this drive. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Here's the give. And he's tackled. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Flip it on the offense. 15 yard penalty. They'll get pushed back with the flag. You guys know coaches do everything they can to teach discipline. But sometimes these players get so fired up that mistakes happen. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 29-yard line. USC sets up in the eye. another carry brought down a seven yard run by the running back seven yard gain on the play here are today's red zone players of the game which is brought to you by old spice red zone when performance matters the most the bruins bring in the nickel package They'll give it off here. He tries to spin, and they make the stop. UCLA takes a timeout. Third and ten, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Bruins line up in a nickelback. Again with a carry, and he stopped behind the line. They just decided to play it safe there, guys. You're exactly right. You don't take chances for a turnover in this situation. Good, smart play calling. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up, and it's good. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 87 fields it at the one. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll set up shot at the 21. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. Pitch left. They'll bring him down. It 
It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. USC came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. And we thank you kindly for participating in NCAA Football 2005. Our final tally in this game, USC 17, UCLA nothing.